So how do you write fractions to decimals? Before we go there, let us go to common fractions and their decimal representations. So these are the common fractions. And right away, you must know what are they in decimal form. So one half is 0 0.5. So you have an object, you divide it into two equal parts. One piece of those two is one half. One fourth is 0.25 or 0.25. We have uh, a piece, one whole, we divide it into four equal parts. One part of that uh, four pieces is one fourth. One third. So one third is a rational number. It is a non-terminating but repeating decimal number. And that is how you write it. You have that accent, that bar on top of the threes. So one third is 0 0.33. Two thirds is 0 0.666 or sometimes they just round it to the nearest hundreds. They round it to 0 0.67. So two-thirds is that. That is two-thirds. How about three-fourths? Three-fourths is 0 0.75, 0 0.75. So you have one whole. You divide it into four parts, four equal parts. The three pieces of that uh, four parts taken together is what you call three-fourths or 0 0.75. How about two-fifths? Okay, so you might be wondering, hey, how did it become 0.4? Okay, so you don't have to do the actual division. Okay, I know you know. You can, you can still remember the long division, but you don't have to go there. Okay, so 2 over 5, that is equal to 2 over 5 times, look at this. And the result is 4 over 10. And you know 4 over 10 to be 0.4 or 0 0.40. Or you can write it as 2 over 5 because this one is 0 0.40. This is like 40 hundredths. So you can also write it in this way. 2 over 5 times 20 over 20. Okay, 2 times 20 is 40 and 5 times 20 is 100. So 40 over 100 or 40 hundredths. How about 3 over 5? 3 over 5 is 0 0.60 or 0 0.6, okay? Let us write it in terms of hundreds. So 3 over 5 in hundreds, in hundreds digit, this is equal to, and this is 60 over 100. So this is 60 hundreds. And 4 over 5, you know that it is 0 0.80 or 80 hundredths. So these are common fractions and their decimal representations. So right away, you must be able to recognize that these are their equivalent decimal numbers. Writing fractions into decimal form. How do you write 6 and 3 fourths meters in decimal form? So that is 6.75 meters. 3 and 1 half inches, 3.5 inches. 7 and 3 fifths feet, okay, so 3 fifths is 0 0.6. So this one is 7, 7.6 or 7.60 feet. Fractions, decimals, and coins. So centavos, when you see centavos, you are looking at a fraction, a fraction of one peso. That is what centavos means. I still see 25 centavos around. So 25 centavos is 0 0.25 of one peso, or it's one-fourth. It's one-fourth of one peso. So centavos are fractions. They are fractions of, of one peso. How about this? Five centavos. I don't think you see five centavos often, but in my days when I was a kid, five centavos were always around. So five centavos is 0 0.05 of one peso. 
Okay, it's 0.05 of 1 peso. So how do you write this in fraction form? So this one is read as 5 hundredths. Okay, 5 hundredths. So you will write it as 5 over 100. So 5 centavos is 5 hundredths of 1 peso. This one is 1 centavo. 1 centavo is not 0.1, okay? Not 0.1 of 1 peso. 0 0.1 of 1 peso is 10 centavos. So 1 centavo is 0 0.01 of 1 peso. Okay, look at the decimal place. 0 0.01, so it's the in the hundreds digit. So how do you read it as a fraction? It's 1 hundred. 1 over 100 of 1 peso. We are still into writing decimals into fractions. So let's say, for example, we have 0 0.8. How do you write this as a fraction? Well, what you do is you identify the place value of the last digit. So the last digit here is 8, and it is in the tenths digit. Okay, so pay attention to that. It's the tenths. And so we will write the last digit as the numerator and we will divide it by the place value of that digit. So it's in the tenths digit, so it's going to be 8 divided by 10. And then we will simplify 8 over 10. The common factor is 2, so 2 divided by 2 is 1. So we are left here with 4 over 5. How about this one? 0.32. Identify the place value of the last digit. The last digit is 2, and it is in the hundreds digit. So pay attention to that, hundreds digit. So we will write now the decimal digits as the numerator of our fraction, and then we will divide this by the place value. So 32 divided by 100. And then we will simplify this by dividing common factors. So what do you think would be the common factor here? So 32 is equal to, okay, 32 over 100. That is equal to 16 times 2. And 100 is 50 times 2, okay? 50 times 2. So 2 divided by 2 is 1. So you are left here with 16 over 50. But this one can still be factored, okay? So 16 is 8 times 2 and... 50 is 25 times 2, okay? 2 divided by 2 is 1, and so we are left with 8 over 25. So I bet you didn't see that 0.32 in fractions is equal to 8 over 25. 